Hey everybody, John Herman Property Up. I received a question about, you know, when should we list our house now that it's, you know, at the end of 2016, getting into the winter months. Should we list it now or should we wait until spring? And I'm going to answer that question for you today. And as we get started, I do want to point out two locations on this blog. This first one here, that's going to give you an idea what your current home is worth. Put your address in there and we will take care of you. The second one over here, this is a great place to start looking for some houses if you're in the market. Go ahead and, you know, search for any town that you're going and look at and go to town. Alright, so the, basically the question is, now that we're running into fall and the winter months of 2016, should I take my house off the market or should I just wait and list in the spring? That's a timing question. So uh, let me look at this in a little different perspective. So I got a few examples. Um, if you look at the stock market, people talk about you know buying on the rumor and selling on the news. And one of those is the reason you sell on the news is because it always ends up dropping. So the people that are buying on the news are losing money. Uh, another example, if you look at car dealerships, when they're selling cars, you know, they, it always, what I've been told actually from some of my clients who are in the car dealership business, is that they have quotas. So if you buy it the first couple weeks of any month, it's not so detail oriented as far as getting discounts, but if you go at the end of that month and they haven't met their quota, you're going to get a killer deal. So that's a little hint. So now if we merge all this into real estate, um, uh, the question always comes up and people always talk about, should I list my house in the spring? And, and let me ask you something. So if, if you are uh, putting your house up in the spring, which it looks better, I mean, your flowers look wonderful and everything else, and then your four or five or six other neighbors also put their home on the market, do you think it's going to sell quicker or do you think it may take longer? And I'm pretty much going to tell you it's going to take longer. Now let's shift into the winter months here. So if we're in the winter months here at the end of 2016 where the inventory is as low as it's ever been and the amount of new listings that are coming in, so take a look at this sheet right here. This detail tells you that the new listings that are coming in are uh, definitely going to be lower in the winter months and you can see the dip this is it's on the bar right there and it dips every single year in the uh, winter time and also now take a look at the closed sales same things happening the closed sales are also dipping but here's the question um, should you be the only house out there when you have super serious buyers looking in? and my answer is a definite yes I mean there's not many people that are going to go be going through houses just to get decorating ideas in the middle of winter and they're not going to be trekking through the snow and the salt and everything else they're serious buyers you're going to have half as many but if they have half the inventory to choose from and you have serious buyers you're going to sell your house so definitely you know don't wait for the spring you want to put it on the market during the winter months it's a great time to do it that's my advice and i hope you understand where i'm coming from all right we'll talk to you bye bye